Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to another Real Madrid reveal. Barcelona tree, Real Madrid nail. This just sums up all the problems that we had last season, and maybe we thought that it might have changed for the better after witnessing what happened against Milan and Man United. We thought maybe there could be a bit of a change, you know. We're seeing these new faces fitting in, you know. Bellingham has been exciting to watch. Jose Lu has been good to see. Even players like Frank Garcia and Abraham Diaz fitting in as well. And that would have led us to believe that, okay, you know what, maybe it's a change for the better. And then we go into El Clasico and I didn't expect Real Madrid to win, in fact nowhere near, I thought that Real Madrid were at most going to get a draw, um, I'm pretty sure I predicted, if I'm not wrong, either a 1-0 or a 2-0, um, but if you guys haven't already, go and check out that preview that I did, um, but I did not believe that Real Madrid were going to lose badly, and again, Yes, it was a 3-0 game, and yes, some people would say, but it wasn't very, very dominating from Barcelona. It's still a 3-0. Like, you have to remember, right? Even though, yes, we only... I mean, some would say 3-0 is a big scoreline, but 3-0 is a big scoreline, right? But if I'm being honest, we played all right. It wasn't like we played very, very bad, and... The three goals we considered, yes, they were good goals by Barcelona. Like, they took their chances and they scored. But they were preventable. Like, they, they were preventable goals that we just let them score. And it's, you know, come back to bite us, right? Now, look, it's pretty, pretty disappointing to lose 3-0 um, after, like I said, what we have seen from the previous two games that were convincing and were actually signs of something good to come. But this just highlights that one key problem that Real Madrid still have and it hasn't been resolved for the last month and a half, two months. The striker problem. Benzema has been gone for nearly two months now, right? And even when Benzema was here, we all knew that Real Madrid needed another striker. Let's not shy away from that fact. But now that he's gone, we especially need another striker, right? And we haven't had that for two months. Now there's this Mbappe saga, which I think could happen for another week and a half, two weeks, three weeks, into mid-August. But... Harry Kane was an opportunity that Real Madrid could have gone in for. And some people wouldn't really like the fact that um, Real Madrid signed Harry Kane. They don't really like that idea, and I get it. But, again, is Mbappe a striker? Now you have to ask yourself that question. Is he an out-and-out -out striker? Is he going to be a player like Benzema, a player like Harry Kane, who is going to score you... No doubt Mbappe is going to score a lot of goals, but is he going to want to play in that system as a 9? Now that is the question, and how is that going to affect someone like Vinny Jr? Now, we'll leave that question for another day, but okay, if you are a huge fan of Mbappe to Real Madrid, just remember that this still hasn't even happened yet. It's not even close, because Real Madrid haven't even put a bit in, and... They've only said we're not willing to pay PSG's 250 million euros price tag. Now, again, this deal is going to take another two weeks, in my opinion, which should have been, you know, tried to be negotiated, you know, maybe a week ago. But instead, we are still waiting another two weeks. And the season's going to start in about two weeks' time as well. So, things are not looking good up top. And let's hope that this Mbappe situation revol resolves and something happens here. Yeah? Um, but I'm not going to be too harsh on the fact 
that we lost because again it's preseason. Let's take that into context and consideration that it's only preseason, but preseason is a good way to test where you are heading into the season and how you will play and what are the weaknesses, the strengths, and where you can improve and where you need to improve on heading into the new season. And I'm pretty sure that that tells us all to know that Real Madrid's biggest, biggest weakness is striker. They, Real Madrid don't have a striker. Like, there's no one to put the goals in the back of the net. Because this new diamond midfield um, formation that we are seeing, tested by Ancelotti, what this do is it's basically a 4-3-3 three, three, that Bellingham is playing as a striker because he's constantly making runs into the box because the mid the middle space that Benzema would take um, would normally be Benzema like I said but because we are starting Vini Jr and Rodrigo in that space they tend to drift wide because it's a natural game it's natural for Vini Jr to drift wide because he's a winger it's natural for Rodrigo to drift wide because he's a winger so that creates that space in the middle for Jude Bellingham to run to and Essentially, now, Bellingham is our number 9. And yes, he's a talented player, yes, he's a very good player, but Jude Bellingham's best game is not a number 9. He, okay, he is an 8, maybe a 10, but he's not a number 9. That, I think, you're pushing the limits with his game. So, something has to be resolved. A striker is needed. And if there's Mbappe, cool. You know, at least we have someone. But I still don't think that Mbappe is the number nine, the natural number nine that Real Madrid need right now. But that might be just a personal thing. But that's kind of the observation that I think every Real Madrid fan can see based on the last few games, even against AC Milan and Man United. The striker concern is still there, okay? Yes, we can still find goals from Vinny Jr., from Rodrigo, from Jose Lu, from Bellingham. But we still need to get a number nine in that can, you know, guarantee thirty goals a season, like Benzema did. Um, but Barcelona looked really, really sharp. I mean, they have made some good signings. You know, Gundogan coming in um, on a free has been a good addition to the midfield. Um, yeah, they played well, and I think that they are going to be the big, big, big rivals for Real Madrid this season. I think it's going to be Real or it's going to be Barca. Maybe you can add Atletico Madrid in the mix as well. But Barcelona seems to be what everyone is trying to achieve. You know, I think Barcelona are setting the bars for everybody. Not Real Madrid. I don't think Real Madrid will be setting the bars. I think Barcelona are setting the bars. And again, like I said, it's only pre-season. But you look at how they play, they've got a proper nine. You know, Lewandowski is a proper number nine. He's got, you know, good support on his wing. You know, Dembele scored, but it seems like he's going to move to PSG now. But they still have Rafinha, they still have Ferran Torres, Ansu Fati. So they've got good covers on the wings. Um, I think their midfield with Pedri, um, even Gavi can play on the wings. Gunduan coming in. Um, Frankie de Jong, let's not forget as well. In that midfield, they are good there. I think the defence... They are looking stronger than ever um, as well. So Barcelona will be the target that everyone in the league is going to achieve. Again, not everyone is going to be able to achieve that. But I think if you're looking at you know, teams like Villarreal, Real Sociedad, who might have a chance, they'll be looking at Barcelona going, we want to reach that level. right? Barcelona are the target, are the bars for everyone to reach. And I think that at the moment, if Real Madrid don't get a striker, Barcelona are the favourites to win the Liga. I think that Barcelona, even though they don't have quality in different areas, like Vinny Jr., Bellingham, they don't have individual quality everywhere. Like, I know it might sound biased, but it's not trying to say that Barcelona don't have quality players. Like, of course, you've got Pedro Gabi, Frankie de Jong, that's a quality midfield. But you look at the attack, like Rafinha isn't like a massive, massive wow. Like no one's gonna look at Rafinha and go, Oh my days, this is like the next Messi. Like, um 
and maybe Fern Torres as well, he isn't going to be looked as like, oh my god, the next Neymar, right? At the back, yeah, Araujo is a great player, Kunde is a good player, Christensen's a decent player, but no one's going to look at him going, oh, he's next Carlos Puyo, right? And I'm not trying to diss their players, right? But I'm just saying, like, if you compare the quality as individuals, I think Real Madrid have more quality individuals compared to Barcelona. But I think as a team, I would edge it to Barcelona here. I think as a team, you look at how they play as a team, Barcelona are better as a team. Which is a really, really worrying thing to see. So, let's see what happens. The key takeaway is Real Madrid need a striker and Barcelona have a lot of quality as a team. Now, the first goal was really, really well taken. Free kick, Bruno one lays it off um, to, if I'm not wrong, Pedri, who then um, just lays it off to Dembele on his weaker right foot, slams it past Courtois. Second goal was caught by the youngster, I forgot his name really. Um, great left foot to finish, however. And then the third goal, Ferran Torres, um, empty net really. Um, and yeah, just a simple tap in to an empty net for him. So, three good goals by Barcelona. Um, but again, let's not take too much away. Um, as a Real Madrid fan, it doesn't mean that Real Madrid won't be competing. Um, I think Real Madrid... Um, will definitely be up there and competing but Barcelona are still the target that you want to get to I think in terms of everyone looking up at who is going to win and who is the current winners and holders of La Liga it's Barcelona so they will set the bar they will set the target and everyone else will just follow but I do give Real Madrid a good chance of you know challenging them as well but again, it's only pre-season. Pre-season, of course, you can take a lot away from it. But let's not take everything away from pre-season as well. Because realistically, it doesn't mean that losing to Barcelona 3-0 in pre-season means you won't win the league. It doesn't mean that. But Real Madrid need a striker that's clear as days. And let's see what happens to this Mbappe saga. Let's just hope that if Real Madrid were to get Mbappe, at least get it done. In the next week week and a half at most because it's been dragging on for again close to two months now since Benzema has left it's always been Kano and Bappe really so let's hope that this is gonna get done quickly but let me know where I toss are down below I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video hit the like button if you guys did it subscribe to the channel on already and I'll see you guys in the next one Pish.